do I have? What do I need today? Oh man, I need some. Hey, I didn't know you were here. So today I need to, uh, I'm going to go to the grocery store and I want to make sure I get everything I need. So when I do that, I make something. And this week in writing, we are going to be learning how to make a list. All right, a list of things that you may need at the grocery stores. We don't always have to make lists for food or grocery stores. We can make a list of favorite things. Um, what could we do on the weekends? Make a different list of anything. Why we love our dogs or cats or hamsters, Carter. We can make a list over everything. What are the, what is, um, objects that are blue and I can make a list of that. I love making lists because it's not, you don't have to write sentences. You just bullet point, you can just write a word or a couple words that you may need. So today I am making a shopping list when I go to the grocery store. So I, first things first, on a list, you can use it on blank paper or anything. Um, also you can use it in, um, you can get post-it notes and you can make a list on that. You can make a list on little sticky notes, anything that you have, but I wanna use this so you were able to see. I got my clipboard. Sometimes if you have a clipboard, you can go around your house and make lists. All right, so I'm gonna write a shopping list. All right, I'm gonna write it up top. Okay, a shopping list. Now when I write this shopping list, that's what I'm gonna write. Every time you make a list, you have to put a title. Uh, remember the how-tos? We would always write what we're writing about. This is like the same thing. This is called the title. Everybody say title. I didn't hear you, Jace. Everybody say title. There we go. This is the title. You do not get started until you write the title, all right? Now, I have to go around my house, my house, my kitchen to figure out what I need. Hmm. Ooh, it looks like I need some chocolate. Yes. Somebody says, do you need it? No. But, yeah, I do need it. Not no. I need it, okay? I'm stuck in the house. Sometimes I need something sweet. So I put a little dot right here, all right? And that means that I don't have to write uh, sentences. I don't need to write, I need chocolate. No, I just wrote chocolate. What else do I need? Ooh, I need more. Ooh, I need more um, rice. Okay, I need more rice. Uh, ooh, you know what I love is hot sauce. I don't have enough hot sauce, so I need to make sure I have hot sauce. So I was talking to some friends last week about how I really want to make blueberry muffins. And one of the things I don't have are, is, let me see, let me look at my refrigerator right here. I'm gonna look in my refrigerator. Oh, you're right, I need eggs. I have flour, I don't know if I need flour, but I'm like thinking what else I need. Oh, I need sugar. So I'm writing, do you notice that I'm putting little dots between each each one, and I'm putting another dot and I sugar. One of my favorite foods is cheese. And I think, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm low on cheese, so I'm going to write cheese. But do you notice when I make a shopping list, I'm going around and looking what things I need or what I need to, or my list. I have my shopping list, okay? Shopping list, my grocery list. Now, should I write um, a table on it or um, playing in the dirt? No, because it has to relate to the list right here. So I do need more coffee. Come on guys, I need coffee. And I think I just need one more thing. Really don't need it, but it's one of my favorites too. Let's, let's look down here. Oh no, I don't have any more chips, so I need chips. Your list can be a couple, four of them, it could be um, five. I do, shopping lists have to be big just because you have, you need to go to the grocery stores. I think I'm good. I think I have everything I need. So now I can take this and go to the grocery store and check off my list. You can make a list over anything, but I'm gonna tell you something secret this week. 
on Sunday is Mother's Day. Now, most of the time, if you're in my class, we could pick a cool gift for them, but you're at home, so we're gonna do a secret project this week. I gotta whisper just in case anybody hears. We're gonna do a secret project this week. What you're going to do is tomorrow, you're gonna make a list, and then on Wednesday, you're gonna make a list, and then you're gonna draw a picture. And then on Friday, you're going to put it together and you're going to give it to mommy and dad, mommy, not on Mother's Day, so that they can have a gift they can open. Oh, how exciting is that? But you got to be quiet. Shh. So you have to get these materials. Every day I will tell you each step. And when you're done with those steps, hide it a little bit and say, Mom, I have to hide this or don't show her and just put it in your room in a safe spot so that you can come back to it. Promise? Can you guys do it? You are making lists this week, and that's what we're learning about. I made my shopping list. I need to go to the store and pick up my shopping items. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, but shh, don't tell Mommy that we're making a Mother's Day gift.